thing about Mazda, they think of everything. This little tab here is so that you can remove this cover. You can get right behind here with a drift, pop it a couple times, and this cover will come right on out. Just like that. Perfect. No damage. Okay, we have this MC Miata differential opened up, and I have the differential inverted on the bench. So when this rear end is in the car, this ring gear will actually be on this side, this way. Okay, so on the left side. Note these shims. This is the factory setup just opened up. There's probably maybe three to five thousandths difference from the left to the right. We're going to be installing a 3.63 ring and pinion gear ratio in this, and that is going to dramatically move this ring gear when it's in position hard to the left. It's going to be a big shift. So all these shims are going to be kind of like on one side of this rear end versus the other. And what that will do is cause this axle to protrude out of this case enough that it will not seal properly to the axle seal. So there has to be a fix for that. And we're gonna go ahead and do that. And um, we're gonna show you that in uh, later segments of this video on how we resolve the issue of an axle seal leak when changing uh, from a 410 to a 363 gear ratio in this particular NC Miata differential. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back with this NC Miata differential. Now it's fully restored. This is the Mazda Speed 363 ring and pinion gear set going in, prepared and ready. The input flange. This is an automatic input flange. We're not gonna be using the damper style that's normally in the manual shift car. This is a manual shift car, but we're just gonna use this so we don't have to worry about that damper separating. This is the Putty Mod solid steel sleeve. It is 1020 drawn, drawn over mandrel steel. Once this is installed, we custom fit this to this rear end so there's no shimming involved. That pinion becomes one solid piece, no shims involved. Okay, this here is the aluminum cover, fully restored. All your hardware is restored. Drain and fill bolts the same. It will also be getting this 1.5-way OS Geiken limited slip differential. This is a highly coveted, very difficult to get. Waiting list is unreal right now for one of these things. And this gentleman is very fortunate to have that LSD. We have our restored case. Looking like it's new, factory fresh, right off the assembly line. All right, that ends this particular video, this segment of this build. The next video will be on the assembly, so please uh, keep watching. Shop kitty video. Will not move. So you have to drive over shop kitty. Okay, he does not care. Shop key.